Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, hello. teacher. Hello. Oh. Good evening. Good evening, yeah. hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How's it going today, people? Are you okay? So, so? Yeah. Tired. Very good. It's okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Tired. Very good. Hello, hello. You're tired, Gabriela. Why? What happened? A difficult day? Yes. <laughs> part, part of the work, probably, right? Yes. I know. I know some some day some days are very very difficult and sometimes we we feel really tired. But thank you so much for doing the effort to be here. I appreciate the effort a lot. Thank you, thank you so much. What about on the rest of the people? How's it going today? Good. Good teacher. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Welcome everyone for today's video conference. Uh, this moment, uh, we're about to start with the attendance and I need the collaboration. Check on your user, please. If, remember if you have your complete name, that should be one of the requirements for the classes. So please double check if you have your complete name in the username. Please remember two names, Two last names, that should be, All right? So please, I need your collaboration on that one. And let me begin at this moment with- Mi amor. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you doing, mister? Uh, tengo una, un, una duda. Go ahead, tell me. Este... Con re recibí el correo, ese perdón, un mensaje donde solicitaba la inscripción para el nuevo curso. Uh -huh. Pero cuando lo hice el, el formulario en línea, uh -huh. no me cayó la respuesta de, de que cae generalmente de confirmación de llenado. Uh -huh. Entonces pensaba volverlo a hacer porque cuando... Lo hice por primera vez para aplicar al programa. Este tampoco me cayó hasta que lo hice con otro correo, porque el institucional prácticamente me lo, no me, me lo rechazaba. Ajá. Entonces tengo nuevamente el mismo problema. No sé si es porque estoy utilizando otra vez el institucional. Fíjese que en cuestiones de correo para ese punto, no sé si habría una restricción de parte del correo que usted está utilizando. En ese caso, Mr. Ricardo, le recomendaría tal vez que se contacte con mis compañeros porque muy probable ellos sí le puedan dar asistencia y darle seguimiento. ¿verdad? Así como logró hacer efectivamente su inscripción para el curso 1, es muy probable que tenga que hacer el mismo método que utilizó la, eh, la ocasión anterior o muy probable se le, de, se le ofrezca una solución diferente, pero siempre con que sea favorable para que usted pueda estar siempre en las clases. Entonces, eh, si gusta, eh, puede escribir incluso en el grupo de WhatsApp donde nosotros estamos eh, incluidos. Usted lo puede mencionar ahí. O si gusta, usted lo puede hacer personal y puede escribir a los números de contacto de oficina. Y ellos, yo sé que lo más pronto posible y con gusto le van a, a ayudar en la situación. Ok, ok. Bueno, así, así lo haré mañana, mañana para no molestarlos en la noche. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me check on the attendance, people. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Let me get started. Remember, when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are part of this video conference. Let me get started. Carlos Luis Cervano. Carlos Luis Cervano. Right, at this moment. Carlos Roberto Nerio. Santa teacher. Thank you so much. Ever Alexander Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Isaac Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Esther Ponce. Present. Thank you. Georgina Ivania Guzmán. Present. 
Miss Georgina Ivania Guzmán. Uh, Senaide Sterle González. Present. Thank you so much. Guadalupe Lisset Soriano. Present. Thank you. Ivone Melina Aviles. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. Continue. Jose Luis Gomez Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Jose Moises Paz. Present. Thank you. Jose Roberto Ruiz. Jose Roberto Ruiz Duarte. Jose Roberto Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco González. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Julio Cesar Hernández. This is not available. Karina Ivonne Linares. Present. Thank you. Carla Mercedes Hernández. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Lisette Esmeralda Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucila Patricia Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Uh, Madeline Lisette Montalbán. Present. Thank you so much. Margarita Lisette Medina. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Marvin Alberto Calderón. Marvin Alberto Calderón. All right, I continue. Milagro de Los Ángeles Pérez. Present. Thank you so much. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Roxana Patricia López. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Senia Patricia Hernández. Present. Thank you. Jancy Maria Jacobo. I guess she's not available. And finally, Yesenia Elizabeth Morales. Miss Yesenia Elizabeth Morales. All right, probably not available at this moment. Uh, I want to share with you some information and I want to congratulate you for the progress in the platform, please. So remember uh, this week, we are supposed to finish on section number four, homework number four. And the majority of you are still working on that one, right? Uh, I will be checking on this one. Uh, I need the collaboration of some people. Solo le voy a pedir colaboración a ciertas personas que todavía no, hemos, no estamos trabajando en la unidad 4, así para eh, llevar el, el chequeo constante de cómo vamos con la plataforma. ¿Ok? Le voy a leer, o oh, no, vamos a hacer lo opuesto mejor para que no suene mal. Le voy a mencionar quiénes sí ya están por lo menos en la unidad 4, en la tarea 4. Y puede ser que usted, el 4 mínimo, algunos ya terminaron la plataforma. Usted ya sabe el estado de su progreso. Uh, si no lo menciono, entonces usted va a entender que no hemos llegado a la tarea 3, ¿verdad? No hemos completado eso y no estamos trabajando en la 4 y le animo a que usted lo pueda hacer. Esas personas sí, sí ya por lo menos tienen la unidad 4. Ever Alexander, Francisco Isaac Sánchez, Gabriela Esther Ponce, Georgina, Guadalupe Lisset, Ivonne Emelina, uh, José Luis Gómez, uh, José Moisés, Juan Francisco González, Karina Ivonne Linares, Carla Mercedes Hernández, Lucila Patricia Quinteros. Let me check on the rest. Page number two. Madeline Lisset, uh, Margarita Lisset, Milagro de Los Ángeles, Ricardo Ramírez, Rosana Patricia, Sara Nalda Guzmán, Zeneide Sterli. Senia Patricia and Yesenia Elizabeth Morales. All right. These people already finished unit number four. Estas personas son las que ya terminaron unidad cuatro. Algunos de los que mencioné ya han terminado la unidad cinco, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita por lo menos mencionarles que la unidad cuatro ya está completa. Si no le mencioné, le animo a que sigamos trabajando. Quiere decir que todavía estamos pendientes de la unidad, de la tarea tres. 
Y recordamos que por esta semana ya debemos tener completa la unidad o la tarea número cuatro. Right? Miss Madeline, tell me, is there a question? Miss Madeline, do you have a question, Miss? Hola, tengo una consulta. Tell me. En cuanto a la actividad 5.10, Eh, ya intenté resolver esa interrogante y no me sale correcta. 5.10. Right. Será la pregunta número uno, por casualidad. No, es, ya le digo ahorita. 5.10. But that is part of the homework. Es la número tres. Uh, la, donde dice quienes están desayunando quien está desayunando entonces aquí yo uh -huh. he colocado los nombres y no no me sale correcto let's see that is number three who's having breakfast let me share that information with you in a quick way uh -huh, uh, exactly. let's see in this case it could be Sue and Tom right? those should be the answers Sue and Tom Su entón, su entón. Sí, exacto, así lo he, he colocado y no. Su entón having breakfast. It could be possible. They, they are having breakfast. Mm -hmm. It could be possible to have the complete sentence. Completo, entonces sería. It could be possible. Su entón are having breakfast. It is possible to have only the names, but give it oh. a try, give it a try. Le sugiero que podamos intentar Eh, está configurada para que acepte la, la respuesta completa con toda la estructura, ¿verdad? Que es el repaso. Su en Tomar Having Breakfast podría ser solo los nombres. Y nada más, eh, en este caso, porque a veces suele ocurrir, nada más eh, chequear Ajá. si es que no hay algún espacio extra cuando comenzamos a escribir, ¿verdad? O espacio al final, porque a veces la, cuando es de escribir, ya están los caracteres específicos. Y si uno da un espacio extra... Puede ser que la plataforma interprete que usted agregó algo extra y por eso nos podría salir eh, no correcta la respuesta. Entonces okay. son recomendaciones en general, pero la respuesta tendría que ser su en Tom. Teacher, yes, teacher, yes. my name is Francisco. Yes, Tommy. Eh, eh, fíjese que hay una, yo creo que es la última de la lección 4, uh -huh. donde eh, por Parece ser que, que menciona la, 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 si la de Bruce, la chaqueta es un verde claro. Y por más que le damos, y eso tenía un problema de que había que crear un punto al final. Ah, Entonces son uh -huh. cosas que tal vez quienes manejan la plataforma podrían administrar uh -huh. sobre ese tipo de fallas, porque al final yo lo pude resolver porque alguien me mandó cómo okay, lo había ya. resuelto. Y con es el, el punto, punto me lo resolvió. <risa> Correcto, entonces. Pues creo que ahorita todo batallamos lo acabo ahí. De, de colocar así. <risa> es fácil. Es el punto. <risa> all right, all right. Thank gracias, you. compañeros. So gracias, teacher. We, dis we discovered the answer. En la respuesta estábamos bien, nada más la configuración de cómo debíamos ir, eh, incluir, ¿verdad? En este caso, la puntuación. Muchas gracias. En este caso, Juan Francisco, ahora ya tenemos el dato. Si la respuesta es la correcta, intentemos ponerle punto. Tal vez en ese caso sea como está configurado el ejercicio, pero muy acorde a su comentario, Mr. Juan Francisco, y yo podría dar reporte de eso para ver si se puede eh, mejorar la situación. Right? Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. My pleasure, mister. All right. Let me get started with some information for today because we have some practice. And we're going to begin to be talking about different, let's see, different content. Let me see, let me share on the view. Excellent. Just a confirmation. Can you see my presentation at this moment? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. I appreciate your confirmation so much. All right. For today, we have session number one. So number one, number 11, right? What am I saying? Session 11, not number one. It's beginner level module one, right? El principiante sí es el uno, pero en sesión sí vamos en la once, right? 
session 11. We're, a, we're about to finish on the course, you know, tomorrow, class number 12. And after that one, we only have four more classes and we finish the course. So congratulations, everyone, for the effort you do in the practice and in all the lessons. Thank you so much. Let's see, we're going to begin this uh, today's practice with some vocabulary, right? Vocabulary talking about clothes. Let me see, I'm going to show you a picture and then I am going to show you the letters or the vocabulary word, but I am not going to show you the vowels. I need your collaboration to help me spell the word. That is how we're going to work. You see the picture, you see the word is not complete and I need your collaboration to do the spelling, right? Don't tell me the word, spell it, A, B, C, you spell. That is what we do at this moment. Let's give it a try. At this moment, I have a picture about a clothing item. This is the vocabulary word. As you can see, there are two, two spaces that are not complete. And I need your collaboration. How do you spell this one? And let's give it a try. Vamos a tratar de deletrear en este caso. La información, como ve ahí en pantalla, esa es la, la palabra de vocabulario. Right? Muy probable que esta no la tengan en el libro. Así que vamos a tratar de, de, de aprender un poquitito más de vocabulario. ¿ya? Tal vez pueda ser nueva, tal vez no. Necesito su colaboración para que juntos deletreemos la palabra. ¿Qué nos hace falta en los cuadritos en rosa? Las vocales. Okay, solo vocales. Las consonantes yo se las dejé ahí. Igual con las que vamos a ver más adelante, nos hace falta solo las vocales. All right? So, I, at this time, I need everybody's collaboration. How do you spell this clothing item? T. E. A. 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 Uh -huh. N. 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 K. K. Uh -huh. Thank you. Let's A. stop at that one, right? Paremos por ahí. Thank you. T. A N K. Let me see. Perfect. Nice. That's nice. I need your collaboration on the other on the other word. Let's spell it together. I need your collaboration and I want to listen to you. One more. One, two, and three. T O P. Perfect. 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 People. T A O P. As you see on this one, you call it tank top, tank top. That is uh, a, an, an article in a clothing item, very common, especially when it's hot, right? It's hot, it's good to have a tank top, right? It's fresh, fresh and really comfortable, right? Thank you so much. Let's check on the next one and let's work together. Good job on this one. Take a look at the picture. This is something that you wear on your, on your head, right? Something that you wear on your head. Take a look at the word. This might be new for you or might not be new, right? It is not a cap and it is not a hat, right? There is other possible word to work on this one. Now I need your collaboration on this one. How do you spell it, people? Let's give it a try. Remember, all the vowels are missing. Solo las vocales nos hacen falta. Las consonantes ya están eh, visibles ahí en la práctica. How do you spell it, people? Three, two, and one. B. 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 O. 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 M. Uh -huh. H. H? No, only only vowels. No. Only vowels. Okay. A -O -O -K. I O U. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. No problem, no problem. Uh -huh. o -O -K. I will help you. B B E E E O I O I I or A I A I A I A I A I A I A I Let's, let's a, listen. A, mm -hmm. a. What about the two final letters? What about the two final vowels? We have B. I, 
B E A A A M N I I Ajá, uh -huh. I thank you. I is correct. I is uh, correct. And the last one P E I L E I Thank you. How how do you call this when you call Bini? Bini. That is what you call it, right? Bini. Remember in this one, the spelling is in one form and the pronunciation should be in a could be in a different form. And this could be the case for this one. That is how you call that clothing item because it is not a cap, right? It is not a cap. You call it a beanie. That is one word that could be new for you. ¿Cómo lo, you al... mm -hmm. ¿Cómo lo traduce al español? Es... Gorro. Un gorro. Gorro. Tal cual como nosotros lo, lo, lo utilizamos, gorro. Mm -hmm. Gorro. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Because it's different from the cap. Es diferente de una gorra, ¿verdad? Y es diferente de un sombrero. Podríamos decirle beanie, ¿verdad? que generalmente es el gorro que conocemos que va bastante ajustado a la cabeza, ¿verdad? Cuando hace frío, right? Y, it's cold. Y, uh -huh. y la, y la hat, H-A-T. Ah, and that is probably, when you go to the beach, you wear a hat for the sun, hat. protection for the sun. Sí, la pregunta era porque a, al poner gorro en Google, al traducirlo, no le sale esa palabra, meaning. All right, I know. Esa era por eso era la pregunta. Ah, ah, perfect, perfect. In this case, because sometimes the translators are not too reliable. Ahí el comentario que a veces los traductores no son tan confiables. Okay. Porque, por ejemplo, si le ponemos en español, si ponemos gorro, el traductor no entiende a cuál hacemos referencia y puede ser que esa palabra se utilice en diferente contexto. Y de repente el traductor no le va a entender que usted hace referencia al gorro y que estamos viendo en pantalla, ¿verdad? Uno de lana y que queda ajustado en, en, en la cabeza, ¿verdad? Entonces, Pero por si se veces, pone Vini, si Vini se ahí gorro, sí. Si tendría, exacto, ahí sí. Porque ahí el traductor sí. de inglés para español sí es más específico porque usted puso la palabra tal cual. Ahí sí, ahí uh -huh. sí no funciona. A veces, a veces no, juega, no juega mal el traductor en ciertas situaciones, ¿verdad? Pero es una sí. herramienta, pero no de fiar 100% a veces. ¿Y ¿verdad? qué palabra le da a la compañera? Eh, Al... Hat. 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 Uh -huh. hat, uh -huh. hat, hat, hat. Uh -huh. All right. Let's continue. Thank you so much. Let's see on the next one. And this one, remember, you call it Beanie. Beanie. Take a look at the next one. Probably something familiar. Let's, <laughs> ah, you see? It, it, take, take a look at the effect. Take a look at the effect. You see? Right? Take a look at the effect, the introduction of the, pro, of the item. I need balco your collaboration. Original. Balco, balco, original balco. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And that is the protection for your, for your leg. Protection for your leg. Y sirve de protector como que fuera rodillera cuando llueve. Hasta aquí le quedan a uno. Se le la rodilla. las rodillas a uno. Exactly. Sí, exactly. También sirvió de corrector para algunos. Yes, no son yes. nada los llenazos. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Now, people, I need your collaboration to spell on this vocabulary word. For this one, we need two, wor two words. Right? Esta, este vocabulario o esta palabra se conforma de, eh, de dos Pero, palabras, tal cual, ¿verdad? Para hacer referencia a este artículo. Now, I need your collaboration. Remember, the cover squares are only the vowels. ¿verdad? Los cuadritos que usted ve ahí de color, que no nos permiten ver la letra, están cubriendo solo vocales. All right? I need everybody's collaboration. How do you spell this item? Let's begin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just double check it on this one. F L I P. I know sometimes it's a little bit challenging because the sound of some vowels 
make reference to the pronunciation in Spanish sometimes. Chancletas. Right? And it happens, yes. And it happens, right? Nada más ahí, eh, yo sé que a veces las vocales, por lo menos en mi caso, eran un tanto difíciles porque el sonido de la letra, de una letra vocal, suena como la E, right? Que nosotros mencionamos, ¿no? Right? Por ejemplo, I, la letra E en inglés, pronunciation, I, ¿verdad? Esa es, es la letra, es la, the pronunciation. Y a mí cuando me decían I, yo ponía la I de español, va, I, I, in the people, I, right? In that case, it could be a little bit of challenge, but well done, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Talking about flip flops, thank you. Flip flops, flip flops, thank you. Take a look at the next one. We're talking about a clothing item for the hair. Take a look at this one. Take a look at the word, right? Remember, only the vowels are covered, right? Cover only the vowels. How do you spell this one, people? H A I A I uh -huh. H A I O I continue I R R E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E H A I R B A N D. And you call it hairband. Hairband. That is something hair that for ladies, right? To, banda to, para cabello. To banda para cabello. O también podría interpretarse diadema. como diadema. Si fuera un tanto sólida, igual podremos, podríamos decir hairband, right? The new generations don't like hairbands, right? They don't like them that much. They were famous in the past. Eran más comunes y más famosas en el pasado, like hairbands. Now the ladies, not much. They don't like them that much. Right? Ya, no, ya no es un artículo tan... Siempre usado, pero no tanto como antes. ¿verdad? Era como bien fashion, a hairband. Now, probably not so common. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much, people. You did really nice in the vocabulary words. Perfect, perfect. Now, check on this one. We talk about the present continuous. Remember yesterday... We talked about the present continuous. And what do we use the present continuous uh, in this moment? What do we use the present continuous for? ¿Para qué hemos utilizado el presente continuo haciendo referencia a la clase de ayer? Do you remember? Wearing. All right, thank you. In combination with wearing. Thank you Usando. so much. Exactly, right? In this case, we express what the person has, right, in the moment, right? That is what we describe. For example, uh, Tomas, just to give you an example, Tomas is wearing a beanie. Tomas, he is wearing um, a short. He is wearing a tank top. And because it is hot, he is wearing flip-flops, right? They're giving a description, a description about what the people uh, or what the person is wearing at one specific moment. For today, we're going to be checking on yes and no questions using the present continuous. Take a look at this one. I have some information. This is the information for similar from yesterday. An affirmative sentence. He is wearing gray shoes, right? He is wearing gray shoes. That is an affirmation. It's not a question, that is an affirmation. He is wearing gray shoes. Now, tell me people, how do you form a question? A just no question with the present continuous. Is he wearing gray shoes? Thank you, Jose Luis. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help. That's correct. Take a look at this one. Take a look at the uh, what happens to the sentence. Take a look at this one. Is take a look at the position, right? Take a look at the elements, how they change. Is he wearing? Is he shoes? wearing? Right. And at the end, pay attention to the question mark. That is something really important when you write a sentence. It is important to include the question mark. Is he wearing gray shoes? And, and then we convert the information 
into a yes or no question. All right. And what is the possible answer, people? Imagine that I ask you, is he wearing gray shoes? What's the answer? He is wearing gray shoes. He is. Yes, he is wearing. All he right. Is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your participation. In this case, when we answer, to give a short answer, we can say, yes, he is. And that's perfect. It's no problem. Yes, he yes, is. He is. What is the negative in the short form? Negative? No, he isn't. Thank he you. Is. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Not he's not complete form. No problem. In this case, I included the contracted form. But you can say no, he is not. And that's fine. No problem. Right? No, he isn't. Yes, he is. That is what we work on. You see? The questions is only an inversion of the verb to be. That's what we do. Uh, at this moment, is there any question about this information? Question, question. Hmm? Question, questions about this, this topic? Yes, 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 tell me. Eh, se puede decir también, eh, yes, he is wearing. It's possible, it's possible. In that case, uh, we should, we can have a long answer. Let me check on this one. Let me work on my annotations at this moment. It is possible to say, yes, he, in this case, yes, he is wearing. But in this case, that is considered a long answer, and it is okay. Gray but shoes. You give a com really complete answer. Yes, he is wearing gray shoes. Gray you shoes. repeat almost the same information, but it is possible. Long answer and short answer. Si sí podemos utilizarlo, pero si damos una respuesta larga, tiene que ser tal cual toda la información. No pudiéramos partir solo decir, yes, he is wearing. Entonces, tal vez lo indicado sería dar toda la información nuevamente, casi como lo que se nos incluyó en la pregunta. Yes, he is wearing gray shoes. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Thank you so much. Is there any other question for this content, people? Question, questions. Is he wearing uh, jeans? Ah, okay. That is a possible question. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go to the next part so we can practice. At this moment, we are going to practice on this information. And for that one, that's your turn. We are going to create questions. Take a look at that boy. And we are going to formulate questions. Is he wearing... And for this one, I am going to need the collaboration of Georgina. Georgina, can you create one question for this person, please? Is he wearing jeans? Jeans, all right. What jeans. color are the jeans? Blue. All right. Now, blue jeans. All right. Is he wearing blue jeans? Can you repeat the question one more time, please? Is he wearing blue jeans? Is Georgina? Hello, hello. Is he wearing blue jeans? Blue jeans. Blue jeans. All right, perfect. People, what can we respond to that question? Yes, he is or no, he isn't? Yes, he yes, is. He is. Yes, he is. He is. Yes, he is. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me check on this one. What about, uh, I need the collaboration at this moment of, let me see, Miss Lucila Patricia. Lucila Patricia, I need your collaboration to create other questions. Is he wearing and mention one article that you see? Okay. Is he wearing sweater light blue? Change the order. A light blue sweater. 
The color is first. Okay. okay. One more time, please. Is he wearing light blue sweater? All right. What do you say to that one, people? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he right. is. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have a question for you, people. Is he wearing a, is he wearing a beanie? No. No, he's not. No, he is saying no, he's not. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. That's a good answer based on the picture. Thank you so much. Let me see, Mr. Jose Moises Paz. Create other questions, please. He is wearing backpack. Is he wearing a backpack? One more time, please. Is he wearing a backpack? Is he wearing backpack? A backpack. A backpack. Thank you. People, what do you say to that one? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Thank you. Yes, he is. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Madeline, tell me. Tengo otra pregunta mm -hmm. <laughs> sobre eso. All right, tell me. Uh, bueno, ya hice una, una pregunta. Mm -hmm. uh, is he wearing gray shoes? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. That is the question to practice, right? Is he wearing yes, gray he shoes? is. All right. Uh, headphones or gray shoes? I'm sorry for for the for the audio on this one. Gray Mad shoes. Gray shoes, Madeline. Yes. All right. Is he wearing gray shoes, people? Yes, he is. Yes, yes, he, yes, is. he right. is wearing gray shoes. Exactly. Thank you so much for that complete answer, Juan Francisco. That's correct. Thank teacher, you so teacher. much. Tell me, teacher, tell me. Go ahead. I have a question. Go ahead, Sara. Um, se lo voy a decir en español porque no la puedo decir en inglés. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try, please. Tell me. Um, in this case, in in this in in this case is um, backpack. Mm -hmm. Is the verb el, el, el verbo. The verb. The verb is um, wearing. Uh, yes. is, is possible el. Eh, usar el que sería el verbo que la no es que la tenga puesta sino que la está uh -huh. no es que la está usando como ropa sino que la tiene puesta All la right. mochila no uh -huh. All right, thank you so much and that's a good question in this case uh, it's possible if you want to be very specific you may say he's carrying a backpack la, él está portando o lleva consigo. Pudiera ser otro verbo, ¿verdad? Pero generalmente o es aceptable utilizar el verbo wear para algo que usted lleva sobre su cuerpo. Por lo menos los accesorios podremos decir los earrings, ¿verdad? Podemos decir glasses, he's wearing a cap. In this case, it might be possible, right, to say wearing a, a backpack, right? Thank you, teacher. All right, thank you. Two possibilities, that's okay, no problem. Thank you. Now, I need the collaboration of other person. Let me see, let me choose the next person to participate. Miss Gabriela Esther, can you create other question about this person? Is he wearing a shirt? Mm -hmm. Is he wearing white gap? White? Gap? Gap. Gap. Cap, ah, cap, ah, people, thank you. Is he wearing a white, a white cap, people? What a do you white say? cap? Mm -hmm. No, he no, no, he's, he's not. not. Oh. No, he's not, right? No, he's not, all right? Thank you so much. Now, no, we're, going, we're going to work on something similar in breakup rooms. Let me show you the description of the activity. In this one, we are going to work together and we're going to have speaking practice. We're going to work in small groups. One person asks a yes, no question with the present continuous. 
similar to the example, right? Similar to the example we did as a class. Then the question should be to confirm if the person is wearing something specific. ¿no? Vamos a utilizar siempre el presente continuo, pero el, para el momento lo, lo hemos utilizado para describir lo que la gente está vistiendo. ¿no? Para eso lo estamos utilizando. El presente continuo tiene otros usos. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante, ¿verdad? No se me va a confundir porque el presente continuo nos sirve para una acción en, pro, en progreso, ¿verdad? Como ejemplo, yo estoy hablando, usted está escuchando, Talking. yo estoy revisando, no, estoy bueno. escribiendo. Para eso nos sirve el presente continuo bueno. también. Pero en este caso, por la práctica, lo vamos a utilizar similar al ejercicio anterior, como le hicimos como grupo, ¿right? The question should be to confirm, ¿verdad? Para confirmar, recordando que las yes no question nos sirven para confirmar información, ¿verdad? Si, hey, él está vistiendo tal cosa. Sí o no, yes or no. So, we work in that, in that, uh, in that idea. And in this one, the rest of the classmates look, right, in the, in the cameras of the other classmates and respond properly, right? That is what we do. Let me do an example. Déjeme hacerle un ejemplo acá, como que estuviéramos trabajando todos juntos en este momento. Let me see on a person. Let me choose one person at this moment. I am going to use at this moment, Mr. Ricardo, and I am going to give a, spot, a spotlight for everyone. You're going to be famous, Mr. Ricardo, right? Everybody's going to look at you. Creo que en este momento todos pueden ver a Ricardo en sus cámaras. Yes or no? Yes. All right. Yes, perfect. Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Ricardo. You are famous, right? You are famous. At this moment, this is what we do. I am going to ask a yes, no question based on what Ricardo is wearing. And you are going to respond, you look at Ricardo, and then you mention, yes, he is, or no, he isn't, right? Take a look at him. Is Ricardo wearing a white t-shirt? Yes, yes, he is. He is. Right? Thank yes. you. Is he wearing glasses? No, he's not. No, no, he's, no, not. no he's not. No, he's not. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. No, Other alternative. Thank you so much. No, he is, isn't. Is Ricardo wearing a necklace? Necklace? No, he's not. No, he's not. No lleva collar, ¿verdad? No lleva, una, no lleva un collar por acá, una cadena, como nosotros le decimos. Is he wearing a cap? No, he's no, not. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Is he wearing flip flops? We don't know. I can see. <laughs> I can see. No problem. <laughs> not necessary. Not necessary <laughs> to show. Remember, not necessary to show, right? This is what we do in the practice. You are going to be asking questions. Lo vamos a hacer así. Vamos a, uh, vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres o cuatro y una persona va a ir alternando. Eso sí, ¿verdad? Porque no va a ser solo una persona preguntando. Una persona pregunta los demás respondemos. De ahí vamos variando. Otra persona hace otra pregunta y así sucesivamente. Va a escoger a un compañero de los que está en la sala y va a preguntar para confirmar si la persona está vistiendo algo. No necesariamente solo lo que lleva, ¿verdad? Porque en ese las respuestas serían afirmativas. Yes, he is or yes, she is, ¿verdad? También puede inventarse otro artículo usted para obtener una respuesta negativa de sus compañeros. No, he's not. Is he wearing a cap? No, he's not. Right? And you give a confirmation and we practice questions and yes and no answers. Are we clear on the activity? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Thank you so much for your confirmation. Let me create all the breakup rooms at this moment. Let me see. All right. We're going to work together at this moment and remember to ask questions and you alternate. Recuérdense alternar. No va a ser solo una persona haciendo preguntas, right? We're going to have approximately 10 minutes to work on this one. So thank you so much for the time in the practice.
Hello, hello, Ricardo. Is Seneida wearing a headphones? A headphone? Okay, headphone. 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 Is not so. No, she's not exactly. No, she's, no, not. she's not. <laughs> no, she's perfect, not. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Thank you. Just double checking on this one, just to give you general feedback. When you okay. mention something in plural, for example, headphones is plural. It is not necessary to mention a ah, a ah, headphones. Not necessary a. Ah. Is she wearing headphones? No ah. Okay. Ah, it's plural. <coughs> Thank you so much. Right. Okay. Nada más chequeando por ahí cuando mencionamos un artículo o un objeto que es plural, como headphones se considera plural, That's no utilizamos el artículo A, porque ese lleva un trasfondo de número, ¿verdad? Como decir, un audífonos, ya no nos pega la cantidad con lo que estamos expresando. Así que, solo headphones estaría bien. Thank you so much. Continue It's asking same. and you alternate. Thank you. You continue alternate. Siguen alternando. Hey. Ahora ya preguntó Ever. Alguien más pregunta, ve a la, a la camarita de alguien más y formulamos preguntas, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ok. A ver. ¿Cuántos okay. somos? Somos, somos cinco. Más with me. Más with me. I am about to go, don't worry. Ya me voy, no se preocupen. Ya me voy, no, bro. <laughs> No problem. Thank you so much. No, 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 no. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. He is he wearing um a cap? Cap? A cap? Cap. Uh -huh. No, no, he's not. Ok, ¿qué más tiene, Roberto? Anda sin no, ruedo. No, no. Hey, hey, careful, los Roberto, Roberto, los... Roberto. No, careful, Roberto. Los, ha los headphones. <risa> is is he wearing uh, pants? <risa> Puse la creatividad. A saber. No, 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 he's not... <risa> No. Too much information, too much information. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's using okay. short. Okay. He's wearing is he shirt. Wearing, is he wearing a, a scarf? Ah, is he wearing a scarf? No, he's not. No, okay. he's not. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Continue working. Remember okay. to alternate the person that is asking the yes. question. ¿verdad? Estamos haciéndolo bien. Nada más recuerden seguir alternando, así todos tenemos la chance de preguntar y responder, all right? Thank you so much. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Ok, the next. Celia, le paso la bola. Ah, ok. Yes, he. Ok. Is Ricardo waiting airports? Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Yes, I am. <laughs> thank you, thank okay. you. Continue practicing. Continue asking. I want to listen to you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Um, is Roberto wearing a sneaker? No, I'm not. No, he isn't. No, he's in the right. Thank you. Is he's Karina wearing sunglasses? Sunglasses? No, she's not. I okay. Am. Sunglasses. All right. Thank you so much. Continue practicing, people. Well done. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Is Lucila wearing flip flop? Soy. 
Hello, hello. I'm, I'm watching you. I'm watching you people. No se vale porque la plataforma le dice que la, la grabación está en progreso, algo así. Ya no me deja entrar incógnito. Ya no me gusta. Sí. Volar. Ahí, ahí viene, dice. Ahí viene, que ahora ya le avisa. Ajá. Ay, este que ahí viene. Ah, no, cama. Speak English. Ah, en inglés que ahí viene el dicho. No, cama. I want to listen to you. Can you continue with the practice, please? Continue okay. con la práctica. Quiero escucharles cómo estamos formulando preguntas y cómo respondemos. Thank you so much. Ok. Yeah. Eh, is José Moisés wearing gray shoes? Mm. No. No. No, no he, I know. he sent. No, he sent. Thank you. And for Moisés? It will be, no, I am not, right? Thank you, because uh -huh. that is a personal ah, okay. answer. Uh -huh. Esa es Como lo mencionaron a él, entonces él responde, no, yo no, ¿verdad? Exacto. Además, okay. sí, no, he isn't. Thank you. Other people, create other questions, please. Otra persona que formule otra pregunta. Thank you. Eh, y... ro... ah. <laughs> dale, dale, dale. Dale, dale. ¿Quién, Carla? yo? Okay. Iniciamos con Carla y después Jacqueline y okay. then José. Okay. okay. Is Roxana wearing a necklace? Uh -huh. Así se dice. Necklace? Yeah. Uh -huh. No. No, I am not. All right. And the answer for the no, rest? She, no, uh -huh. she is not. No, she is not. Right. Jacqueline, what is the answer, Jacqueline? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta a esa pregunta? Eh... Is she no, is, I am not. Ah, in this case, for Roxana, right? Creo que la pregunta era para ah, Roxana, right? No, she is not. Para ella. Uh -huh. No, she is not. Excellent. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Jacqueline, create a question, please. You are wearing... Uh, para Jose. Para Jose. You are wearing a black earphone. Earphone? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mm. All right. Thank no. you. Black. Black. Ah, black. <laughs> white. Ah, ah, no. You are white. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no problem. If Asemo says thank you, create a question, please, about your classmates. Okay. Mm -hmm. is, is Carla wearing a Blue jeans? Ah. No, I am not. All right, thank you. Good reference. No, she is not. No, she is not. Thank you, Jacqueline. No, what is... She is not. Excellent, excellent, perfect. Just as no, a final no, comment. Thank you, thank you. Just as a final comment, remember when we talk about something in plural, for example, headphones, uh, jeans, shorts, and shoes, the article A uh, is not necessary, right? So, for example, is you oh, say, okay. is she wearing a shoes? Uh -uh, a shoes, no. Is she wearing shoes? Plural. Is she wearing a headphones? No, ah, uh, right? A headphones, no. Is she wearing headphones? When you talk about something in plural, is he wearing a jeans? Uh, uh a jeans, no. Is he wearing jeans? Something in plural, right? Just remember on that info. Recordando por ahí que cuando hacemos okay. referencia a un elemento plural, no utilizamos el artículo A, ¿verdad? Así que cuando sea plural el, el, el artículo, no utilizamos el, el objeto, perdón, el de lo que estamos mencionando, no utilizamos A. Right? Not necessary. Right? Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. We return to the main room. Vamos a regresar a la sala principal. Thank you so much, people. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for the time in the practice. Thank you, thank you. I was checking on some groups and you are doing really nice with the practice. I appreciate that really much. And I was trying to give you some feedback. Por ahí pasé con algunos grupos 
no con todos lastimosamente, pero con los que participé, tuve la, la chance de darles retroalimentación para poder estructurar preguntas y responder adecuadamente. Right? But you are doing really nice. Right. Nice, nice, nice. At this moment, let me check on the attendance, right? So we are about to finish the practice. When you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are still part of the BD conference. Let me see. Carlos Luis Serbano. Carlos Luis Serbano. Right. Not at this moment, probably. Uh, Carlos Roberto Nerio. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Alexander Cabrera. Excellent teacher. Thank you. Francisco Isaac Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Esther Ponce. Present. Thank you. Georgina Ivania Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Senaide Sterling González. Present. Thank you. Guadalupe Lisset Soriano. Present. Thank you. Ivonne Melina Aviles. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. Present. Thank you. Jose Luis Gómez Guevara. Present. Thank you. Jose Moises Paz. Present. Thank you. Jose Roberto Ruiz. Jose Roberto, probably not available. Jose Roberto Vázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Francisco González. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Julio Cesar Hernandez, I guess not available. Karina Ivonne Linares. Present. Thank you. Carla Mercedes Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucila Patricia Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Madeline Lisette Montalbán. Present. Thank you, thank you. Margarita Lisette Medina. Present. Thank you. Marvin Alberto Calderón. Marvin Alberto, no lo veo. Milagro de Los Ángeles Pérez. Present. Thank you so much. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present. Thank you so much. Roxana Patricia López. Present, teacher. Thank you, Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you, Senia Patricia Hernández. Present. Thank you, Jancy Maria Jacobo. I guess not available. And Yesenia Elizabeth Morales. Yesenia Elizabeth Morales. All right, probably not at this moment. Okay, people. It was a pleasure for me to be with you. Uh, have a good night and remember to continue working on the platform. Nada más hacerles el llamado y el recordatorio y motivarles a seguir trabajando en la plataforma. Así tenemos todo listo antes de finalizar el curso. Recordando que es un requisito para estar inscrito en el siguiente módulo. Así que les animo a seguir trabajando y dando lo mejor de ustedes. All right. Have a good night, people. Take good care. Night. Good, good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. 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 Good night